Hello friends, welcome to C4K. In this video, we will see how to create a simulation of single slider crank mechanism using MATLAB. So let's get started. Let's consider this single slider crank mechanism as shown. Consider the capital letters for the joints and the small letters for the link's length. Take the origin at point A and with respect to this, we can obtain the remaining coordinates and also take the input value for the initialization of this simulation. The basic procedure we will follow is to find the unknown angle beta and from that we can obtain the coordinates of point E and C. Now let's see the MATLAB code for this simulation. This code contains three sections input parameters, calculations and plotting and animation. In the first section input parameters we have introduced some variables like crank length, slider link length, coupler extension, slider offset, coupler extension angle and initial angle of crank and number of revolutions. Here we have taken one degree increment in the value of theta. So for every value of theta, we will get the new coordinates for our mechanism. After that, we have converted the theta into radian. Then after we have used a line tool to plot the fixed line for the slider. Now in the second section of calculations. In this we have used a for loop which will run till the last value of the theta. And next we have find the beta angle using this equation. And after that we have obtained the coordinates of E point and C point. Now we will see the plotting and animation. In the plotting and animation section we have introduced CX and CY which are the coordinates of A, B, C and E. After getting the coordinates, we have used a line tool and other plotting tools to plot the mechanism at a particular value of theta. After that, we have used a pause and delete to get the motion effect of plotting. But at the last value of theta, all plotting will be deleted. So for that, we have again plotted a mechanism at the last value of the theta and at the end we will obtain the crank radius and the slide distance. Now let's run this code. So click on run. So it will give the output like this. So here we will get the crank radius and the slide distance 100. Now let's change some value in the code. Here we will introduce slider offset of 20 mm. So the slider will move upside of 20 mm. So here we can see that the slider is slightly offset of 20 mm in upside. and it will plot the coupler curve like this. Now here we can see that as we have applied the slider offset, the slider distance will increase and here we can see that. Now we will change it to minus 20. Again run this code. So the slider will be moved down of 20 mm. So here we can see that the slide distance is same for the plus 20 and minus 20. Now let's change the initial value of crank position. In place of 1 revolution, we will try at 0.5 revolution. Now click on run. The slider will stop at the 0.5 revolution. Now close this. So this is how we can simulate the single slider crank mechanism. Thank you for watching 
एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल सी फॉर कैट